the ball now, and yeah. which is good because his, his feet are sounder now than what they were. I mean, a year ago, um, when he had his sigafoos put on and his sigafoo ripped his foot off, um, we then had to go through quite a lot of x rays. Yeah. and remedial failure and the vet at that point said I don't know that he'll ever be sound again and he said I don't think you'll ever ride him again so to have got to this point with him only a year later I'm really pleased about but how long has it been on our ride for now? I think it's just short of three months um, and in that three months there's been a difference? yeah his, his feet are, you know, strong and healthy and not cracking or chip. On his, he's got a little chip, but that was just because when he gets turned out, he just goes crazy. Um, so the fact that he did spend about two weeks out in the field and his feet are in one piece without cracks, you know, halfway up them and bits. I mean, literally, he can be left with that much hoof. So, uh, you know, at, at worst, he's been left with an inch and a half of foot. Yeah. Um, which is obviously not what you really want to, to see. And then it takes six months at least for it to, to grow down again and for him to just be comfortable walking on his feet. Um, and in that time, we obviously spend a lot of time doing all we can to make him comfortable with glue-on shoes, um, casts, hoof boots, Strapping polystyrene yeah. to his feet, and you name it, we've tried it. <laughs> well, and he, he probably doesn't need them anymore now, do you? No. He passed a five stage vetting, nothing, nobody even picked up on the fact that, you know, he had bad feet. It was probably two months after I got him um, that we started to notice that there was something going wrong with his feet, but nobody ever knew what was going wrong with his feet. Um, at first it was, he's hit too many poles, he's made his feet hollow, um, then he had God knows what wrong with his feet from another farrier and he did um, countless things with him. Um, the vet then asked his friend in the Far East that said to poultice his feet with pevidine and castor sugar to try and bind the white line back together. Right. Um, we did that. He had all four feet poulticed every day for a week and then every time he lost a shoe it was poulticed then for the 24 hours. That didn't make a blind bit of difference, that just made his feet soggy. Um, which actually then caused them to fall off even more. Um, and it wasn't until kind of late last year that we had a podiatrist to look at him and she said all he's got is a bacterial and fungal infection in his feet, but she said it is a very serious one, which is what's caused the initial separation right. for his feet to be so bad. Um, but whether his feet would grow back together from just sorting it out, I don't know, but she, everyone that's seen his feet just lately kind of doesn't believe that they're his because everybody's seen him with such bad feet. To look at them now, you wouldn't know if there was anything wrong with them. Yeah, that's great. Well, yeah. Katrina's also showed us that the separation is still a little bit there. You can see that there is a, a clear gap between the top two layers of his hoof and the bottom layer. So when that chips off, which touch wood it hasn't in a while because his feet are really okay. strong. We're three months in now, and so the outer hoof is clearly... Uh, really um, strong. Yep, really strong. So it will take invariably another three months before the top part of the hoof will actually show yeah. um, that uh, it is attached. So hopefully in three months time... Yes, hopefully I'll be able to send you an email saying that actually oh. his feet are in one piece now yeah, well. and not in two separate pieces. Well, like I said, his feet at the moment are as best as they've been in three years. So if I would have been recommended aloe vera two and a half years ago, 
we probably wouldn't be in this situation now. Yeah. Um, what would you say to uh, all these people out there? Give it a go. Yeah.